so dashboard under dashboard we have done these dashboards which is very much important and then there is a star effect where we can put star effect here and apart from this along with the star effect and conditional formatting so we had applied conditional formatting on this there is a similar dashboard almost similar dashboard like star effect we have a bar effect so for bar e effect what we can do is suppose this is the sales city wise right city wise person wise sales report here so similarly you have to just insert a for bar effect you have to insert a line from symbol so where is symbol under insert tab you have to go for symbols then symbol and under webding under webding there is a line symbol so just drag it down there is a line symbol so just you have to insert this so for bar effect we require a line so this is very easy what you can do there is a repeat function same like last session we have repeat set, repeat function rept and what you want to repeat you want to repeat your line so you have to fridge it and then comma number of time that is your score so what you will get you will get number of lines which is based on your performance so if you just drag it down you will get line effect here bar effect here but this bar is not appropriate so just go for home tab there is a font which is called britannica bold you have to search britannica bold you can use another font also there are several fonts fonts here you can check one by one which font is better but the best font is britannica bold so britannica bold you have to select this one britannica bold so you will get bar effect here so there is a no gap between two lines so you can see there is a bar effect here now what we can do is this is bar effect actually bar effect is very easy if you just use chart how this is very much easy just select your data go for insert tab and there is a option called bar chart so if you just take a bar chart you can see this is the similar dashboard here this is based on bar if you are changing your bar so that will change you can delete their chart area you can see the effect this is working but why bar chart or bar effect is necessary if you want any condition on this bar you can't do it in excel chart that is why we require bar effect how we can do this see first of all 
just change your bar color with red or any so if you want two color here one is red and another is green so there should be a like condition if your sales or sales value or performance value is greater than 60 then that should be green otherwise red so red is there so we have to just apply one function here one formula here under conditional formatting so you have to select this there is a conditional formatting which is very 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 important for dashboard or any data visualization kind of thing so go for manage rule new rule apply a formula simple formula if this is greater than 60 but this should be moved down so you have to just remove your dollar sign from row so accordingly you can move 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the condition use formatting under formatting there is a font option under font there is a automatic but I don't want automatic that means black color I want green color so apply green color here so condition is now applied so you can feed a simple color here any any of the color now you can see the effect if your individual performance is greater than 60 then you can see there is a green bar and if your performance is below 60 that is a red symbol so we can control like this automatically we can control this so we can't do this in excel chart but we can create this effect through bar effect dashboard so this is very simple but this is very important Anuj is it clear yes, yes. So this is very simple actually. So I have applied just a single formula under conditional formatting which is if this value is greater than 60 then we need this color otherwise red. So this is the trick. So we can use this trick for bar effect here. Now we are going to just create some battery battery effect so battery effect is very important for you can say battery effect is very important for performance report kind of thing if you are creating performance report so battery effect is very important so we are going to tell you how we can create battery effect so battery effect what we can do we can create a different sheet here and we can name it battery effect dashboard so under this what we can do we will not do many thing we need a, a area where we can create battery effect So, if you are creating only battery effect, you have to do everything. You have to create your heading, you have to create your chart, you have to create buttons, you have to create other function like VLOOKUP, MATCH or CHOOSE or something like that. Because we have done this, so we have required to just implant here battery effect. So battery effect, we need something, just see carefully how we can do it. So what we need is, suppose, if you want city wise battery effect, see, there is a average sales city wise. So if you are talking about Patna, so this is 61.5. If you are talking about Delhi, that is 48.5, then 55, 
and then 34. So we have different parameter. On this parameter, we are going to create battery effect. So what we can do is just see equals to this. If you get equal to this, that means you will get the same value. And after this divided by 100, divided by 100 means you will get the value in point. Now you have to change this point into percentage. So just simply click on this percent button. So you will get the same percent value. Suppose if you are talking about Patna, so this is 61.5, so that is almost 62%. If you go for 48 Delhi, so 49%, 56% and 38, 35%. So my first work is you have to change your normal decimal into actual percentage. So is it clear? This is the key point here. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Kaushik, is it clear? Okay, so now we have very small work. You have to just select this 35. Go for insert and there is a chart. Under chart we have so many column chart is there. Under column chart you have to select second chart which is called, called stack column chart. So you have to create a simple stack column chart here and just place it here in this area. You have to place it in this area. My first work is to create a stack chart on which data on which percentage data now everything is okay now we have to format this so this is the most important part and some catchy point is there you have to first delete your chart title we don't need you have to click this level just you have to delete horizontal axis we have data which start from 0 to 40 in the case of Kolkata if you just select Mumbai now you can see there is a change in the vertical axis which is 0 to 60 if you go for like Delhi you can see this is up to 60% from 0 if you go for but now you can see there is a change in 0 to 70. So parameter should be same that is applicable this is similar for any data so that is why we have to just fix it in between 0 to 100 not 0 to 40 or 50 or 70. So just right click there is a format axis and under format axis you don't have to do so many things under minimum you have to just click 0 and under maximum you have to click 1 that is the 0 to 1 means 0% to 100% now my half of the work is done now what we can do Just select this, this is called data point or data series we can say. Right click on data series, go for formatting. You can see there is a gap width. If you increase the gap width, so this will be like less in width. If you increase, you will get less width. If you decrease this, you will get more width. So you have to just put 0 under gap width, 0. So you will get the maximum width here. 
under right click format data series under format data series there is a gap width you have to put just 0% here now what we can do is this is the plot area you have to fill a color any color what you want any color you can put and in this area you can put any color now you can see the effect if you are talking about patna you can see there is a 61.5 percent here so right click there is a add data level option you can add the data level here you can increase the font size if you are talking about Delhi that is 49 percent if you are talking about Mumbai this is 56 percent and then last 35 percent but this is not looks like battery effect so there is a like formatting required which is very easy just right click on this there is a format data series under format data series you have to use fill effect fill effect under fill effect there is a gradient fill so this is all formatting kind of thing you have to select one of the gradient here so i am selecting here this one dark to light green so you can see there is a bottom darker side and this is the lighter side so you have to change the direction here so we are selecting this one so this is the darker side this is the light side you can see the graph here this is the graph if you just click this button you can see this is the color if you are selecting this this is the color if you are selecting this this is the color what you can do select middle one and change their color into white and in the last section you have to select and change it to black so you can see this is a cylindrical kind of effect here so just close it so now your formatting is better now but again this look this look this is not looks like battery effect so we have to use some another effect here we have to just insert a shape any shape you can insert but under rectangle we are selecting we are inserting fourth one so we are creating base here select your base right click format and same you have to select gradient so you will get the same gradient on this copy it paste it and place it here in the top area again you have to paste it one more you have to create a knob like shape and place it here so now you can see this looks like battery so main point is chart but now this is looks like battery effect so now you can see there is a battery through battery effect you can present your whole data if you want more effective dashboard select your plot area again again go for format plot area go for gradient you will get the same color here so there is a no difference between data level and plot area that is why you have to change the color green to red and pure black to light black you can choose one of them so now you can see the effect 
This is green area is your performance, red is area where you have to go. So now battery chart is ready. So this is based on formatting. So by using formatting kind of thing, we can present our data with very good dashboard. So this, this is the best example of formatting. Concept is simple chart. This is a simple chart here. You have learned about chart, but this is the advanced chart here because apart from chart, you are using some external shapes for battery effect and something like that. So how it looks like? Anuj, how this looks like? No, 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 no. <laughs> so actually dashboard is nothing dashboard means at what level you can present your data if you are just see just think if you are presenting your data in the form of a star effect or battery effect so everybody will just surprise so this is simply a logic a small small logic here so you have to just get together so there is there is a chart there is a simply a shape here this is the shape here and there is a formatting that's it so you can can you move on to ppt no that will not work in ppt that will not work in ppt we can copy it and paste it as a image but here this is working na this is working only we can make yes but if you want then you can just copy their whole thing suppose if you want to place it in the ppt so what we can do is in ppt suppose there is a ppt here so you have to paste here every part of that data like you have to first copy it and paste it complete this we can increase the size of font here now we have to work on this Now you can see the effect. If I am changing here value fifty six percent, you can see there is an effect on PPT also. That is working. But your both files should be open. Your Excel file because we are controlling from here, na. So this should be open and if you are changing here that will automatically reflect on your ppt <laughs> so we have so many things that we can apply during the ppt or maybe during dashboard so now performance for performance analysis this is the best best dashboard and we have a, another dashboard which is even 200% better than this which is called speedometer dashboard 
we have another dashboard which is very 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 good this that dashboard is better than this one so now we will learn about that dashboard the dashboard is called speedometer dashboard that means you can see the performance analysis through a speedometer so there is a another dashboard we are going to present just we are creating a sheet duplicate sheet for a speedometer i am creating this one we need this space for a speedometer for a speedometer we require two data first data name is data 1 and second data name is data 2 so this is not depend upon what you are just under data 1 so heading is a not important you can name with data 1 or uh, maybe with the name of anything x1 b1 c1 anything so under data 1 you have to put you have to put 11 value 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 for 11th row you have to put value 100 so 10 number should be equal 10 10 10 10 and 11th number should be 100 so there is a data which contain 11 value 10 equal and 1 is 100 and the total sum is 200 is it okay we need first data with 200 value like this is it okay i guess this is very simple we have required this data now we have required second data under second data we need value or performance so my performance was this that means if you are talking about delhi so your performance was 48 and we have connected this cell in data to value we required a pointer with one so pointer should be one value should be if you change your value you can see there is a changing here we are connecting this cell with this and one is pointer and there is a formula here this is important formula is very simple equal to 200 Why two hundred? Because this is the sum of two hundred. So this is the sum of data one. So that is two hundred minus under bracket. You have to put this value W three plus W four. If you calculate this, you will get same two hundred. This is the sum of this three value, which is two hundred. if you sum this value this is 200 first is very simple under second data under data 2 we require value value from your performance pointer is from simply you have to put 1 and formula is total 200 minus this plus this now again what we can do is we can select our data first data go for insert there is a again chart which is donut chart you have to create donut chart here you can see there is a 
block of 10 10 and there is a another 100 first of all you have to just select this go for format we don't require any outline outline means due to outline you can see there is a separation line white line is there so just select it go for outline and say no outline we don't need any chart title just delete it we don't need any like this legend just delete it we need only this now what we want i want this 100 should be in the bottom and this should be on the top so how we can rotate this so right click there is a format data series is there format data series so click on format data series see we have to work we have to work here one is angle this is zero angle you have to put 270 you have to just remind uh, remind, uh, remind this that should be 270 if you put 270 you can see this is rotated now and we will get 100 at bottom and 100 at top something like that we require some more effect here this is the whole size if you decrease the whole size this will decrease if you increase the whole size that will increase so we have to decrease up to 50 45 to 50 or uh, around 50 now after this we have there is a shape effect here go to the pre-shape you can choose any of them any of them you can choose so we have several effect here you can choose any of them again you can see there is a problem with rotation so just again you can just rectify this with 270 so now right click there is a add data level so this is the data level you can change the color of the data level any light color you can use with gold now in this what we need we don't need 100 so double click on 100 and delete it and we need all this with different level so th this should be 20 this should be 30 this should be 40 this should be 50 this should be 60 this should be 70 this should be 80 last 90 and this one should be 100 so this is the now you have to double click on this if you are selecting any chart this is chart only this is nothing this is nothing this is chart so if you select just click single click you will select every part if you double click you can select only this part so you have to double click go to format and under fill there is a no fill so you will get only half area so in this you have complete data but this is hidden because this is with no fill first part is clear our base is clear now our base is ready so this is the base this is the meter where we have to move our cursor first part okay hai. first part is ready Anuj ye first part samaj mein aagaya kaise karenge how we can do this yes. 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 there are several actually point but if you are very good in chart 
तो हमें नहीं लगता कि इसमें बहुत ज्यादा कुछ नया किया हमने जस्ट फॉर्मेटिंग करी है सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट सो नाउ आफ्टर दिस यू हैव टू राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड देर इज ए सेलेक्ट डेटा ऑप्शन एंड एड यू हैव टू एड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस थ्री सो केयरफुली यू कैन सी इफ योर वैल्यू इज थर्टी फोर विच इज नियर बाय थर्टी फाइव सो योर नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन जस्ट क्लियर आउटलाइन सो यू कैन सी इजिली इफ योर परफॉर्मेंस इज नियर बाय थर्टी फाइव सो योर रेड कलर दिस इज द पॉइंटर रेड कलर इज इन बिटवीन थर्टी फाइव इफ योर परफॉर्मेंस वैल्यू मूव टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सो दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट हेयर थर्टी फोर फिफ्टी सिक्स फोर्टी एट सिक्सटी वन सो नाउ द मेन वर्क इज राइट क्लिक देर इज ए चेंज सीरी चार टाइप वेर यू हैव टू राइट क्लिक you have to right click on the outer circle second one we have done everything on the first data which is stable data this is the meter and this is the moving data this is the dynamic data so right click on the outer circle there is a change series chart type under change series type you can see under this chart there both chart is donut chart so you have to change your second chart into pie chart like this now on this data you have to right click format data series angle should be 270 same 270 so now this looks like this now you can see if your performance is 61 that looks like 62 61 is here if your performance is 48 so this is near this if your performance is 55 this is near by this and if your performance is near by 35 so performance is this but in this case what you can do is we have three section here in this chart one is value that is blue in color one is pointer which is orange in color and there is a 164 that is formula this gray so double click on gray area go for format and no fill use no fill and for the value that should be blue so select the blue area again do it no fill you have to just retain your pointer so now this looks like a speedometer see a speedometer works it looks like this is amazing dashboard one of my student Who is a uh, who is a deputy manager in SCL Technology? Uh, he is working in SCL, and uh, I'll just tell you the story later on. He is getting around twenty lakh package with the increment increment of ten lakhs package. Earlier there. Uh, salary was around 13 14 lakhs now he is getting 25 lakhs around by using this by just implement implementing this kind of dashboard on their data so you can't um, uh, like understand what at what level you can use this and what what level you can use this and what is the importance of this so if you are working on the data if you are playing with the data 
then you can understand the value of this i want one more point here then i'll just tell you the answer kapil so one second i'm just selecting this single single right click there is a add data level so you will get single value here because their value is one but here we have to use a formula just you have to select one go for formula tab and link with just click here equal to and link with your performance and try to do this value should be integer that means round round of this and this should be round means like this now you can see your dashboard is ready now you have to implement or place it in your actual dashboard what you can do is you can just select this merge and put some like effect here so go for format cell there is a fill effect here you can take any of the color from here like this and this is a simple chart so we don't need white area so what we can do under format we don't need any color so just we can do it as a transparent now you have to place it here with your original space availability so that is not more than that should be like more smaller you can put here see and this is the best dashboard if you are presenting something in the form of like uh, performance kind of thing so this is the best dashboard now see the final effect yes kapil i guess you have question tell me So, so I think the the number of millions is determined by the number of the total population. Yes, that can be. That can be. So that if you give the real representation, the real exactly, exactly. We can just move it from here to this point here. To the corner point. Corner point. Easily we can do it. It just select. And I got the number of millions. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Ah, this is amazing dashboard. If you implement this in your like any performance report, I don't think कि इससे ज़्यादा कोई अच्छा performance dashboard हो सकता है किसी की performance दिखाने के लिए. One is your speedometer and another is your so. Uh, anuj earlier your comment was amazing for battery dashboard can you say something about speedometer 
सो एब्सोल्युटली बहुत कुछ इसमें अप्लाई करना पड़ा है हम लोगों को थोड़ी प्रैक्टिस नहीं बहुत प्रैक्टिस की जरूरत पड़ेगी बट आपका हाथ कोई नहीं पकड़ पाएगा अगर आप इस तरीके का डैशबोर्ड दिखाना शुरू कर दें मैं उसी की स्टोरी बता रहा था कि असिस्टेंट मैनेजर था एक स्टूडेंट है मेरा विजय सो ही वॉज गेटिंग जस्ट थर्टीन फोर्टीन लैक का पैकेज एज ए असिस्टेंट मैनेजर अभी उसको डिप्टी मैनेजर में इंक्रीमेंट मिला है और विथ टेन लैक्स इंक्रीमेंट उसने कुछ नहीं करा अपने डेटा बेस को डैशबोर्ड में कन्वर्ट कर दिया कैन यू इमेजिन कि पूरी एस हमारी इस पूरे डैशबोर्ड जो मैं आपको सिखा रहा हूँ सो दे आर यूजिंग दिस पूरा ग्लोबल प्रोजेक्ट टीम के लगभग तीन हजार एम्प्लॉय इसको यूज करते हैं तीन हजार से ज्यादा एम्प्लॉय एस सी एल पूरे ग्लोबल प्रोजेक्ट टीम यूज करते हैं सो दिस इज और देखो ये क्या है कि इसको किस लेवल तक आपको प्रैक्टिस uh, करना है यू हैव वीडियो ऑब्वियसली इसमें बहुत सारी छोटी 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 ट्रिक्स लगाई गई है सो यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन दैट कि थोड़ी प्रैक्टिस से काम नहीं चलेगा इसमें बहुत प्रैक्टिस चाहिए बट ये आपकी सैलरी को भी डबल कर सकता है वॉट एवर यू आर गेटिंग दस लाख पंद्रह लाख दैट कैन बी इंक्रीज अप टू थर्टी लैक्स ऐसे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं ऐसे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जो कि कहाँ से कहाँ पहुँच गए लेकिन मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी जैसे मैं एकदम स्मूथली तो तो जैसे मैं स्मूथली सब चीज करता हूँ तो स्मूथली तो तो यस कौशिक सर एनी डाउट ये तो टॉपिक ऐसा है तो डाउट ही डाउट रहेगा जब तक आप वीडियो नहीं एग्जैक्टली exactly. पहले सर आपको इसको बहुत दो तीन बार वीडियो देखना है एंड देन यू कैन ट्राई एट योर एंड फिर जहां जहां पे फंसेंगे आप अगेन वीडियो देखना है लेकिन जिस दिन आपने अप्लाई कर दिया ना अपने डैशबोर्ड में फिर वो आप प्राइवेट टेबल डैशबोर्ड भूल जाएंगे प्राइवेट टेबल डैशबोर्ड कुछ होता ही नहीं है वो तो सिंपल सबसे ईजी तरीका होता है डैशबोर्ड को दिखाने का लेकिन प्राइवेट टेबल डैशबोर्ड का फायदा ये है कि बहुत ज्यादा वर्टिकल हो लाइक जोन हो जैसे कल आप लोगों में से किसी ने पूछा था कि कुछ जोन भी है प्रोडक्ट भी है सिटी भी है समथिंग लाइक दैट सो जब कॉम्प्लिकेसी डेटा में रहे तो डेटा की कॉम्प्लिकेसी को हमारा प्राइवेट टेबल बहुत आसान कर देता है तो वैसे सनेडियो के लिए वी कैन यूज प्राइवेट टेबल डैशबोर्ड अदरवाइज अगर सिंपल डेटा पे अगर हमें डैशबोर्ड दिखाना है तो इस तरह का डैशबोर्ड अगर आपने यूज कर दिया सो वी नीड फाइव मिनट्स ब्रेक एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल लर्न सम फ्यू लाइक फ्यू डैशबोर्ड्स व्हिच इज अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी कांट इग्नोर दैट 